So, um, I got to go into work tomorrow and I have a meeting. Now, I took this job because I was working with homeless people and I was living homeless. And I figured it would be a good experience. I'd worked with homeless people before, uh, doing rapid rehousing with a company. And uh, I wasn't going to work, but I took the position. And it's been a roller coaster ride over there. Things aren't run properly, it's very unprofessional. There's really no training for staff. Um, I have no office. I have to do a highly specialized role. Um, and I have to do all the jobs. Case management, I gotta do outreach to the homeless people. I gotta work in the system and the database where I keep all the files. I gotta do the housing referrals. I gotta do the networking. I gotta do everything to help the people, which I'm fine with, but um, I received a text message from my manager last night. Now, there's been issues with money. I was told I was getting paid $25 an hour when I started, and then they paid me 21, and I complained about it. And then I was told, like, all right, well, you know, just wait, uh, and, you know, we'll see, like, you know, and then we'll pay you more or whatever. So I was really gung ho. I was like, you know what? I'm going to help build this program, which I did. Went from having like maybe under 30 clients in their database to right now 160. Um, I've done, you know, multiple up to like almost 70 rapid rehousing, um, coordinated entry, housing referrals. I've just done a ton of work, a ton of networking, trying to get this program off the ground. So I received a text message from my boss um, tonight, and it says, I have some serious concerns around things I'm hearing. Are you giving the police social security numbers? So that's ridiculous. Um, we work with the police, and I did one time give, well, I didn't give, I entered a social security number because I was on a three-way text message with a police officer and another um, uh, mental health worker that works out of the same database that we do, and we were trying to coordinate care for a client. So that is silly. Um, and then I received a text from my manager, another one that said, I'm also hearing you are building and networking with people to leave in a year and take all the information you are getting. That is the most fucking ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I don't give a fuck about taking information and passing it. Like, I have over 1,400 numbers in my phone. I'm a great networker. I didn't need this job to begin with. I thought it was a great opportunity to help. So, you know, there's just a lot of this toxicity at the place I work. A lot of backstabbing. A lot of backbiting. Um, so... Uh, I did own up, I, here's the message, I said I did do that. It was a three-way text between officer so-and-so and, -so and social worker so-and-so from so-and-so organization. It was the client that had schizophrenia, needed mental health services through so-and-so organization. So-and-so social worker was trying to find this individual in the VESTA system that we use. Uh, the officer already had a file on this individual with all their information, including social. So I did not know that was an issue. So number one, like that's debunked. That's fucking ridiculous. It's in my work phone. So like, you know, you want to look it up, look it up. So accusation one, bullshit. And then I wrote the other part about building a networking, building a network and taking information. That is a fucking complete lie. I'd never need to do that. I don't need to network in fucking Lawrence, Massachusetts so that I can take the information and get, I can get a fucking another job. I came in this job as a professional, and I'm going to leave this job a professional. Now, recently, I had signed paperwork saying that I was going to get paid this measly 25 bucks an hour to do this great work that I love and enjoy. And then I looked, after having conversation with another employee that I knew that had got fired over some bullshit, and they told me to look at my, my paycheck, my, uh, my pay stub, and come to find out they had um, only been paying me $23 an hour. So they were cheating me on $2 an hour. 
So this all kind of coincides. Um, there's this whole line of corruption. This company is known for its cor corrupt practices and many people have reported it. So tomorrow I have a meeting at noontime and I'm gonna find out if I'm getting fired or not. So if I am, there's a good chance I'm gonna to have to defend myself because it's gonna be, um, you know, not only retaliation for complaining about them lying to me about paying me a certain amount of money even after I signed, but making up lies about me uh, so that they have some type of um, reason to fire me. So, you know, it's been good. I've loved the work. I like the job. I don't really care if I get fired. I can figure it out. I'll move on with my life. But this is the corrupt shit I've been talking about with these agencies. Um, and if I do get fired tomorrow, it's going to open up a whole new line of content that I'm going to disseminate on my platforms about what's really going on out here in, uh, in social service and helping those in the most need and the, the organizations whose job it is to help those. Because once I'm gone from this organization, unless they find somebody as good as I am at doing this work, it's not going to happen. So that whole population is going to lose a huge support, um, you know, a huge connector. And it's just sad. But, you know, we'll talk about it. And we'll fight what we can fight. And we'll just keep moving, everybody. Because uh, the homeless man, he always has options. He knows how to survive. So I'll be keeping you all posted.